So the scripture for today is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 16, verse 24, and it reads, Deny yourself. And the meditation is as follows. How often the soul, desiring to achieve this complete renunciation, asks itself how to satisfy the thirst, how to overcome all the difficulties and obstacles. The biggest stumbling block is within ourselves, in our selfishness. Denying oneself is the first condition for humble spiritual victory, which can free us from all shackles and bring with it complete peace in our lives. What does this self-denial consist of? We often don't understand the full meaning of this word. Neither self-control, nor reasonable prudence, nor even the subordination of the lower properties of our soul to higher goals is complete self-denial. In the spirit of Christianity, self-denial must be understood in the full sense of the word. To deny oneself means not to know oneself, to renounce oneself, to actually not exist in one's own eyes. For this, one must get out of oneself and having completely surrendered to the Lord and constantly being filled with his spirit to forget ourselves completely and to let our lives be absorbed by the lives of others. In previous years, perhaps even yesterday, we considered many things to be relevant for ourselves. We were not indifferent to human praise and criticism. We permitted ourselves a certain amount of delight in satisfying our personal needs. Now, however, having given ourselves to the Lord, we have firmly resolved to relate everything without exception to Jesus Christ, our Lord, to live and to act only for his glory, constantly witnessing about him with our lives. Only then will we also be able to say with St. Paul, as he says in the letter to the Galatians, chapter 2, verse 20, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Now, that's the end of the meditation, and he says that we should completely forget ourselves, uh, that we don't even know, that we don't even exist. Well, maybe that's a little too much. We can't completely forget ourselves, and maybe we even shouldn't, because at least we should remember our own sins, at least. But obviously, the main idea is to not think about ourselves very much, but focus primarily on what is good and focus primarily on Christ and God and what God wishes.